I hung my t-shirts out there and I remember the first sale I made. You know, certain things are pivotal etched in your memory. Before Mark Burnett became the king of reality television, he came to America in pursuit of the American dream, found work as a nanny. He later worked selling t-shirts on Venice Beach. I'm Michael McCrudden and welcome to Before They Were Famous, detailing the life of Mark Burnett before his fame. Mark Burnett was born on July 17, 1960 in London's East End suburbs. Both his parents are of Scottish descent and they were both Ford Motor Factory workers. Now they weren't able to provide Mark with material goods, but they did give him a lot of praise and encouragement. His mother ingrained in him that he could accomplish anything that he set his mind to. At the age of 17, Mark Burnett enlisted in the British Army and within a short period of time became the section commander of the prestigious Parachute Regiment. Burnett saw active duty in both Northern Ireland and the Falkland Island Wars, and in 1982, he left the British Army a decorated soldier. Mark's commanding officers would often come up with elaborate tasks, sending him into London's downtown core to retrieve an item or to complete a task without a dollar in his pocket and a deadline in which he had to make it back. This forced Mark to be creative, resourceful, and operate under pressure and these would later become the basis of some of his challenges used in Celebrity Apprentice and other reality television shows. In 1982, Mark Burnett decided to move to the United States with $600 in his pocket. He soon found work as a nanny working for a family out in Beverly Hills. One nanny position led to another and eventually a boss offered him an opportunity in insurance. The same boss told Mark, if you want to achieve the American dream, you need to become your own boss. Soon after, Mark Burnett was selling t-shirts on Venice Beach and quickly turned a profit. This idea of start your own business and think of a low capital business. And so what I did was I figured out the best foot traffic chance of selling something was uh, Venice Beach. You know, 100,000 people a weekend. So I had the right idea. I didn't know why I knew. I just realized a lot of people got a fair chance. But what I'd saved up some money and I went downtown LA and bought these damaged t-shirts. By damage, I mean like a tiny pinprick, not really damaged. After this, he moved on to opening his own marketing and advertising firm, and by the early 1990s, he turned his first million dollar profit. In 1991, Mark Burnett stumbled upon a French adventure competition in which teams from around the world would compete nonstop in marathon kayaking, horseback riding, camel riding, and parachuting to which he signed up. There was nothing like this on American television and Mark Burnett saw an opportunity to make his own competition, which he titled Eco Challenge. Mark Burnett was able to strike a network deal utilizing his experience in marketing and advertising and he went on to produce Eco Challenge for nine seasons, winning himself an Emmy in 1996 for Best Sports Television. Eco Challenge established Mark Burnett as a very serious television producer. While networking, he met with Charlie Parsons, a British television producer who had the idea of a show called Survivor. Mark Burnett purchased the American rights having a gut feeling that he could make this great concept even better. He went to all the networks with the show Survivor, but none of them would bite. Finally, in 2000, CBS took a chance with Mark Burnett and this wild idea, thinking that they could air it in the summer months when everyone else is airing reruns. Survivor was an immediate and outrageous success. When the finale of season one broadcast on August 23rd, 2000, it was met with fanfare and an audience of over 50 million viewers. The season winner, Richard Hatch, went on to become a celebrity and Mark Burnett went on to become a multi-millionaire. The show Survivor has gone down in pop culture as the greatest reality television show of all time, and Mark Burnett became a household name. The rest of the story, well, you can find it elsewhere. I make all sorts of videos about celebrities, Hollywood elite, and people doing big things, what their lives were like before they were famous. Subscribe, like, leave a comment, thanks.